Hello friends, in today's video we are going to be talking about waste yarn and casting on with my double waste yarn method. It's not really my method, I found it from somebody else, I am just sharing my knowledge. <laughs> so in this case, my first waste yarn is going to be red. I do five rows of red before I switch over to my secondary waste yarn, which for this video will be orange. You want to make sure that the colors are different, just so that they are easier to discern between the two and you can uh, pull off the waste yarn easier. I do five rows of my initial waste yarn just because it'll help keep the project tight. It'll keep the, um, the rows looking cleaner, the ends looking cleaner, and that way when you cast off, your project looks beautiful. So I usually go slow for the beginning because you want to make sure that you are casting on how you would do your project. So in front of the pin, behind the pin, in front of the pin, behind the pin, and just continuing through until you get back to the beginning, in which case then you will tuck your yarn back into the tension holder, or the yarn holder, and then into the tension holder, crank it around. When I get back to the beginning of the row again, I will grab the tail. I do that so that it helps uh, keep the yarn tight and less chance of any drop stitches. So just crank this around a few more times. Again, I usually do around five rows for my initial waist yarn. Once we get to the end of that, then we'll cast on with our secondary waist yarn. So you take that out of the holder, grab the secondary waist yarn, which in this case is, again, I said is orange, and then you'll plop that in basically in the same spot as where you cast, or you remove the red yarn, put it into the yarn holder, put it into the tension holder, I like to grab the tails again as it goes around, just because it helps keep the um, keeps the yarn tight. <laughs> and then once we get to the end of our first row of the orange, we're gonna take that out of the tensioner, out of the yarn holder, and you'll go ahead and grab your project yarn. For this project, that will be in later videos. I am doing Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in the color of Bon Bon because this is a perfect yarn that I will be showing in a later video on how to work with tucked stitches. You know, it's the same methods you can also use for slip stitches or drop stitches, but again, that's a different video. So you want to make sure that you pull out enough yarn for your project yarn, at least a good six to eight inches that you can use to tie up your, um, or to close off your project at the end Put it in the yarn holder, yarn tensioner. I grab the tails again for the first row, just to help keep the tension, make sure that everything is tight and we have less chance of a dropped stitch. After I do the first row, then I will go ahead and put on a clip just to hold the tails together. And that's how you do it. Thanks guys. Here is part two for the cast off waste yarn now. Uh, so previously we did the cast on, now we're doing cast off. We've finished our project, uh, so now we're taking the tail, we're going to stick it in the middle, and then we're going to get our waste yarn, which I, again, will do a different color from my project, so it's easier to discern, as well as I do about five rows, um, just so that the end rows of my project yarn are nice and tight, clean, and it looks overall much better. So I will grab my waste yarn. Um, I am going to be using white and after I cut off my project yarn I will be putting my waste yarn back into the same yarn holder and tension holder. I like to stick my hand through the project and grab the tails because again I like to keep hold of the tails to make sure that it is everything is tight, everything is secure, and to make sure that nothing tries to fall off because knowing me and my projects they like to fall off. So I'll hold for the first row, and then for the next four rows, I will let go and let it just do its thing. So again, this is just the cast off waist yarn. Um, I do not do the double waist yarn method for the cast off, simply because the cast off waist yarn is already easy to take off as it is. So let me just go through like this, take the tail, pop it back in, rotate the machine around a couple more times, and that makes the project fall off the needles.
Sometimes the yarn does like to stick, so you have to kind of go back and help it, which is funny. You just crank it back a little bit so the needle pops up and pull the yarn off. And that is the waste yarn method for both cast on and cast off. And now your project is ready to be closed up.